Hey everyone, it's Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 3. First of all, this is the new headset that I was not planning on, uh, not planning on using until uh, a set period of time later, but, well, as you know, I lost a lot of footage, so, oh well. Hopefully, uh, this works. This new setup, we'll find out. I still have the old headset if I need it, but it should be okay, I guess. Now, I know I said I'd fight uh, that other enemy, but whatever, I'm not going to. I really don't feel like uh, wasting a whole bunch of time trying to, uh, well, do that, so... Anyway, now we gotta go back down here and, uh, let's just hit the switch. What the hell? Okay, that's kind of weird. Can I boomerang over this? No. What do I do? Ow. Maybe you gotta run. That's probably right. Alright, let's go, Clive. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Aww. It is possible to run there and make it, but it's very tight. What you're supposed to do is this. Do that. Freeze it, and now it won't turn back. And then you can just walk on down. Not a big deal at all. There you go. That's all you do. And yes, it took me like 20 minutes the first time because I just kept running down and I didn't realize you could just freeze the wheel. That's no joke. I seriously never figured out you could freeze the wheel. Not until I looked it up uh, years later. <laughs> oh well. i uh, probably stick with Clive for now. Hey, come on. Damn, I wanted to fight that guy. Did I fix my, uh... No, I didn't. No, wait, yes I did. This is right. I'm an idiot. Oh well, I like being an idiot, apparently. Uh-oh! It's an enemy! It's imitators. Did I show off these guys before? I think so. They're just weaker versions of Mimics, if I haven't, but... Like, seriously, they're weaker versions of Mimics. You could summon Lustjaw if you wanted to kill them all. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll, uh, Mystic a... Let's Mystic a Light Gem, why not? Extension Petrify, there we go. They're grouped together, why not? Get a pocketbook and another gimmel coin. Now, I believe that's the last uh, pocketbook, so let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's equip them to the following mediums Hope Spark, or Hope Shard, sorry. Uh, Lust Jaw. And finally, Moonspark. And with that, I believe everyone should have access to Gala Boost. Yep, everyone has access to Gala Boost and Eagle Eye. So uh, you can equip those and get guaranteed double money for the rest of the game if you wanted to. Except for, you know, when you have to change things around a little bit, but other than that. But really, I don't find it all that necessary, so I'm probably going to ignore that, but it's something you can do, and I'll, I'll make use of it uh, once I start grinding for money. Because I will need a lot of money at the end of the game, and here we are at the end of the dungeon. Yeah, I'm not going to show off that guy. Uh, there was some 
something interesting about him that what's his name a decarbia but um basically he's 50 percent susceptible to banish and exploder so uh just cast those on him and you can totally just basically ignore him even though he's a really annoying enemy otherwise he's the same as the boss you fought that opens and closes that opens when you hit him with a light spell, but you can just ignore doing that by be just uh, casting Banish and Exploder on him. One of them will hit. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. 50-50 shot of both, one of them will probably hit. What is the power source? Let's find out. Oh, the teardrop. Nice Wild Arms 1 reference. Yeah, the Prophets are going to be after it. Okay, let's get out of here. Huh. Gee, I wonder who talked about that before. I wonder. Who could it possibly have been? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Maya. Remember, she said something about the teardrop, but not by name, in uh, the Gemstone Cavern. It's the Jig. Ugh, it's the gem she's looking for. That's a weird sneeze. What the hell? I never realized she was wearing, like, heels before. That's kind of weird. I suppose they're not heels heels, but still. <laughs> Pick up the pace. Huh. But as we all know, all rumors are true. Or are they? Um. What the hell is that? Okay. What the hell? I <laughs> like a Todd and Todd kind of like hides behind Alfred there. <laughs> well, ardent RPG players uh, know damn well that all rumors are true, so we better uh, get over there. But before we do that, Hey, get on there. Well, let's uh, let's teleport back to Jolly Roger or autopilot there, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's head over to the Ark of Destiny real quick. We got something what we want to take care of. Um. Now, I'm not going to be fighting Ariosh again, but what I'm going to do... I will complete the side quest when I load back my original file. But what I'm going to do is I'm still going to tell you when to fight what forms. But it should make me go a lot easier for me because I'm not going to have to do it. So, Because I've already, already, I've already done that uh, on future files. So that's good. But anyway, we want to... Uh... Ah, okay. This is important. This is really important. Go here, grappling hook up. This is one of the triggers for... No, that's not what we want. No, that's not what we want either. Read Moo and Lemuria Monthly. It says something about UFOs. I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. If you want to read it, pause. Yes, I really am reading this fast. And if you wonder how you how you read that fast, you don't read every single word. That's basically how you read. Uh, quickly. 
you just get the gist of the sentence. You don't read every single word on a page. Like, you could skip a lot of words like the, is, and still get the full meaning of the sentence. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, that, that, that bookshelf is one of three triggers for the, the Telepath Tower side quest. The first trigger is Lombardia. You gotta have Lombardia. The second trigger is reading that bookshelf and having the grappling hook. Now I believe we can start the side quest. I'm pretty sure we can if we talk to Roswell. I'm not gonna start it right now. Well, I'll try and start it now, I guess. I don't, I think his dialogue changes, but I don't think you can actually start the side quest yet. I could be mistaken. No, I'm pretty sure it's after Philadelphia that you can start it. But anyway, we get a full carrot. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can start it now. Uh, I'll go test that. We'll test that real quick. But anyway, you want to get... Uh... Ow. Now you want to fight forms 31 to 40 of Ariosh. That's what I have in my notes, so that's what I'm telling you to do. And, of course, you can just do that the same way that I showed you. Yes, it's critically important that you fight ten forms at a time, or you won't get them all done by the end of the game. I know that sucks, but that's just the way it is. Let's teleport back to Jolly Roger. Let's go uh, in here, and uh, let's do some upgrading. Here we are. All right, upgrade our arms. Is my sandcraft completely upgraded? I'm. I don't remember, honestly. No, I don't have the sub gun. Uh, I have it in my final file, though, so I do have it. How many do you need? Forty? Yeah, I'll get that by the end. By where I get back to. Otherwise, I'll just do a little bit of grinding for it. Just so I can technically show you me buying it on screen. Alright, let's get the arms here. At this point, yeah, I am going to... Wait a minute, how do you initialize? Uh... Oh, there it is. I'm going to initialize the hit upgrades for Jet because I really don't care about them. I'm going to get... Yeah, let's get a shot upgrade to replace it with. And, uh, Clive, one more critical upgrade for him, and another critical upgrade for Jet. So now we have, uh, seven and six. Uh, you could also go with, uh, eight, but I think, uh, level seven is a little expensive. Yeah, it's 96,000. Um, so, you know, it's up to you, e either... Either 7 and 6, or 8 and 5. Either one works. I think on my final file, I do have it at 8 and 5. But, you know, I just figured I'd, I'd finish it now, because I don't want to have to bother with this. Um, I'll probably get one more critical upgrade for Jet in a little bit as well. But unfortunately... Actually, can I do that now? Because I, I'd rather not have to do this later. And I don't remember what my setup for, for Jet is. Once, once I get to back where I was, I'll show you my uh, my file there. I would probably just bite the bullet and go for uh, eight shot with, with at least Clive. But, well, I'm not going to bother. Come on. Yep, I got it. Okay. And then for Gallows, uh, well, I haven't done anything with him, but I'm, I'm going to go five shot, five hit, and five uh, critical. Um, so I'll, uh, I probably won't even bother showing you that, but that's just the setup that I go with, and I think I've got that complete in my file as well. Maybe if I have some extra money, I might get around to it. I don't know. But for now... 
we want to gather some, uh... Oh man, I'm gonna have to do the gardening trick for Mega Berries, aren't I? Damn, I forgot about that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Because we're about to get our first Mega Berry. Damn, I did. I forgot about that. That's not good. Oh well, guess I'll show you that. So now we want to go to Claiborne. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to actually go into the town, which is stupid, but whatever. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going. Let's. Uh, I think you talk to the this guy here. I could be mistaken, but I think it's this guy. Damn, that's no good. It's not that guy. It's the guy in the arm shop. That's what it is. Okay. Somebody tells you where it is. I think multiple people do, actually. There we go. Oh yeah, I suppose you've already seen this headset microphone used in my wrestling reviews. Northwest. I believe it's right here. Alright. Well, there's the caging tower. But before we do that, real quick, I'm going to check out uh, Laxus Land. So let's see. I think we can start it now. I think the Philadelphia is the trigger along with Lombardia. If it's not after Philadelphia, it's definitely after the next place. But I'm pro I'm almost positive. So now we gotta talk to. Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. Defeat the Teletown Tower located southwest of here. But sometimes his dialogue will change, but you still can't start the side quest. So it's it's kind of confusing. I really don't. Well, we'll find out in a second, I guess. Okay, so we go to the southwest. I'm pretty sure it's right here. But it doesn't look like we can start it right now. No, no, we can't. But you still have to talk to uh, Roswell and get that dialogue. That's another trigger. So uh, just do that now. I'm not entirely sure if that's necessary or not. But yeah, you can't start it now, I guess. Uh, you probably have to start it after, uh, well, I'd usually just start it before uh, an area called the, what the hell is that area called? What is that area called? I, I don't, I don't know, I'm totally, but a dim root path, that's what it is. That's when I usually start it. So when you're going to an area called that, then you can find that tower for sure, I know that. So... Yeah, but now we're in the caging tower. Uh, anything interesting in here that I want to go over? Oh, I'm going to actually use my... Uh, sweet. My... Uh, my uh, instant death spells here. That's right. A lot of... This area is really good for instant death spells. Well, at least against an enemy called uh, the Gorg. Just because they have a lot of HP, and uh, they're pretty susceptible to to death, though. So that's good. But I don't think they do anything interesting. Okay, well, you're probably going to want... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want uh, thunder protection on whoever has... Uh... Is it Clyde that has it? Yeah. Okay, so we already got it. Okay. <laughs> I, I see. And all the usual stuff, you know, Eagle Eye and stuff like that. Uh, uh, you could also get Glass Protection if you had it, but I mean, Paralysis Protection. But really, I don't care. And that's that's really about it. So let's, uh, we're at 20 minutes, so uh, 
Yeah, that's why I was going over that because... Oh, oh, no, no, no. There's one thing we can do. Okay, there's one thing we can do. Let us equip on Hope Shard. Remember I had you hold on to this Elder Record? Equip it. Oh, equip it. And then... Who did I give that to? Gallows? Yeah. FP save. Where is it? There we go. And you have FP save as well. I thought you did, anyway. Oh, no, no, no. That's for, for Clive. Yeah, yeah. He's already got it. So, have FP save here, and uh, we'll go from there. So, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to save. And then we're going to continue.